नेक्स्ट द मास ऑफ ए लिफ्ट इज टू हंड्रेड के जी वन द टेंशन इन द सपोर्टिंग केबल इज ट्वेंटी एट थाउजेंड न्यूटन देन इट्स एक्सेलरेशन इज वट इज द वेट ऑफ दिस बिकॉज डायरेक्शन इज नॉट गिवन इन दिस प्रॉब्लम कि लेफ्ट इज गोइंग इन अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन और डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन वी नो दैट इन डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन टेंशन इज एम इन टू जी माइनस ए लेस देन एम जी इन अपवर्ड मोशन इट इज एम इन टू जी प्लस ए ग्रेटर देन एम जी वट इज वेट टू थाउजेंड इन टू टेन ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड टेंशन इज ग्रेटर देन वेट it means left is going in upward direction so by the concept i am rejecting these two now if left is going in upward direction tension should be equal to m into g plus a but they are saying it is 28000 newton what is m m is 2000 so we are getting g plus a 14 meter per second square but g is 10 so what is a 4 meter per second square it means lift is moving upward with 4 meter per second square so we are going with option a next starting from rest a body slides down a 45 degree inclined plane in twice the time it takes to slide down the same distance in the absence of friction the coefficient of friction between the body and the inclined plane is c we did two experiments one with smooth plane and second time with a rough plane it was a smooth plane suppose this distance was s we know that it will come down a force of mg sin theta if this angle is theta it is weight mg this component should be mg cos theta because it will be theta and it is mg sin theta normal reaction time taken was t what happened in this case it covered the same distance in time 2t due to friction this angle was same theta weight mg mg cos theta but it will now come with mg sin theta force why it will not come with mg sin theta force because friction will oppose it is normal reaction
f is equals to mu into r. In this case driving force was mg sin theta. So, acceleration was g sin theta. Initial distance, initial velocity u was 0. Distance to travel s time taken by it is t. In this case, the driving force is mg sin theta minus r, r is mg cos theta. So, acceleration should be divided by mass g sin theta minus mu g cos theta u is also in this case u is 0 in this case also distance is same, but time is in this case 2 t. Now, we are going to use Galileo's equation first it is first case it is second case in first case s is equals to u is 0 u t plus half g t square give it equation number 1. In second case s is equals to u again 0 half g sin theta minus mu g cos theta half a t square means 2 t square. Since s is in same in both cases. So, you can equate them from 1 and 2. Half will cancel out g sin theta t square it should be equal to g sin theta minus mu g cos theta. into 4 t square cancel t square with t square since theta is equals to 45 degree. Therefore, sin theta and cos theta both are equal if they are equal you can cancel them. What we are getting now g is equals to g minus mu g into 4 cancel g with g 1 is equals to a take this 4 on this side 1 by 4 is equals to 1 minus mu. So, mu is equals to 1 minus 1 by 4 means point seven five. So, we are going with option B. Next problem. A heavy uniform chain lies on a horizontal table. If the coefficient of friction between the chain and the table is 0 0.25, then the maximum fraction of the length of the chain that can hang over one edge of the table is. What is the scenario? See, it is a horizontal table. It is chain, uniform chain. whose 
total length was L and length of hanged portion was small l. So, on table length should be l minus small l. So, what is happening now? How many forces are acting in this case? Suppose total mass of L length was m, so mass per unit length was m by L. So, mass of hang chain, I am representing it by small m and mass of this by m dash. So, m was unit length mass m by L, so its mass is m by l into m m by l into l its length is l so small m its mass should be equal to this m by l into l what should be m dash unit length mass m by l and length there is l minus l now, what will happen? The weight of hanging chain, it will try to pull the chain in downward direction and that force is equal to its weight. M by L into L into G but frictional force between upper part and table will try to stop them frictional force this force say f what is frictional force it should be mu into r r is equals to m into g the upper portion mass is m by l l minus l into g mu into r normal reaction of this part is balanced by its weight for stationary situation f should be equal to f dash this means m l g by l it should be equal to mu m by l l minus small l into g cancel m by l m by l g with g so what we are getting l is equals to mu l minus mu l. So, l into 1 plus mu is equals to mu into l, but coefficient of friction is 0.25. So, what we are getting l into 1.25 is equals to 0.25 l. So, this implies small l is equals to l by 5 means fifth portion you can hang fifth portion means 20 percent if you want to calculate in percent you can hang 20 percent up to that time friction can stop the motion after that it is not possible next a block has been placed on an inclined plane with the slope angle theta block slides down the plane at constant speed 
the constant of the coefficient of kinetic friction is equal to what is the scenario in this problem block has been placed on an inclined plane so i am making one inclined plane you place a block on this slope is theta what type of forces are acting on this if its mass is m weight is in this direction its component mg cos theta it will balance normal reaction tendency is to come down so frictional force will act in this direction and the component of force which is in this direction it should be mg sin theta what they are saying the block is moving with constant speed it means acceleration on block is zero acceleration of block zero that is net force on block is equals to zero means r is balanced by mg cos theta and f is balanced by mg sin theta mg cos theta so who balances who mg sin theta balanced f f means mu into r r means mg cos theta cancel mg with mg what you are getting mu is equals to sin theta divided by cos theta so we are getting tan theta so coefficient of friction kinetic friction should be tan theta why we are saying kinetic friction because block is moving so at this time coefficient of friction is kinetic friction next a mass m is placed on a very smooth wedge resting on a surface without friction once the mass is released the acceleration to be given to the wedge so that m remains at rest is a where a is c it is the picture if you apply a force in this direction mass is m and acceleration is a it will move in this ma surface is frictionless it will try to move in if this angle is theta it will try to move downward due to force mg sin theta if this angle is theta it should be theta it should be 90 minus theta so the component of this it this angle should be theta so it should be ma cos theta and in this direction you will get ma sin theta 
so what is happening here first of all you have to give jerk in the direction of towards right so that ma cos theta will go in upward direction and balance the mg sin theta if you want to balance mg sin theta ma cos theta should be in upward direction and it will go in upward direction if you apply force in this direction so it should be towards right because on paper it is right so it should be applied in right and next only one option is there but we will calculate the magnitude m a cos theta it should be equal to m g sin theta then only it will remain at rest cancel m with m so a we are getting g tan theta so we are going with option b next a man is slipping on a frictionless inclined plane and a bag falls down from the same height then the velocity of both is related as in this problem situation is this man is coming in this way and bag falls from height this way both have same height means their potential energy is same potential energy is same when it will reach the ground it will convert into kinetic energy since your inclined plane is smooth no energy is wasted against the friction whole potential energy will convert into kinetic energy there and also in the case of bag because up thrust of air we are not taking in account so in both cases he is coming from same height block has same kinetic energy and at bottom full kinetic energy is converted into potential energy so velocity should be same so we are going with option c means mgh will convert into half mv square mass doesn't matter only height matters so in both cases we will get velocity root 2 gh that's why mass was not given on the horizontal surface of a truck a block of mass 1 kg is placed and truck is moving with acceleration this then the frictional force on the block will be in this it is the block mass 1 kg and coefficient of friction between truck and mass is 0.6 and truck is moving in this direction with acceleration 5 meter per second square if block is at rest it means its motion is balanced by the frictional force if truck is moving in this direction according to newton's third law it will get reaction in this direction action and reaction reaction should be equal so it will get a force ma in this direction if 
it is able to balance frictional force then only it can stay rest and it can be in position of rest so frictional force should be equal to m into a so truck was moving with acceleration 5 and mass was 1 so frictional force should be 5 into 1 5 newton so we are going with 5 newton what is the reaction force it should be balanced by frictional force only then block will stay in the position of rest next when a body moves with a constant speed along a circle no work is done on it no acceleration is produced in it its velocity remains constant no force acts on it what will happen if a body will move in a circle with constant speed at each and every point direction of motion is changing suppose it was going in this direction at this point it is going in this direction velocity is a vector quantity if magnitude it same but direction is changing you cannot say that velocity is constant so option c is wrong again what is happening here they are saying no force acts on it force should act on it why force should act on it because in every moment direction is changing it means velocity is changing changing velocity causes acceleration acceleration means force so centripetal force will act on this particle so no force act on it it is again wrong no work is done on it and no acceleration is produced in it force act in perpendicular direction force act as in perpendicular direction so no work is done on it is in complete statement if frictional force means surfaces are rough to overcome friction you have to waste your energy Fric work done against the this centripetal force is zero because direction of motion is always perpendicular to this force but always no force is done we cannot see no acceleration is produced in it it is wrong actually they are not giving frictional force so we are not it is incomplete but no acceleration is produced in it is is wrong because acceleration is always there and it is centripetal acceleration v square upon r since they are not talking about friction so there we will discuss only this force so against this force work done is zero because direction of force and direction of displacement is mutually perpendicular and work is f dot d means f d cos theta so against this force work done is zero due to this cos 90 due to this cos 90 degree it is zero so we will in these four a option is correct when milk is churn cream gets separated due to everyone knows it is the reactionary force of centripetal force means centrifugal force so we are going with b a body is whirled in a horizontal circle of radius 20 cm 
it has an angular velocity of 10 radian per second what is its linear velocity at any point on the circular path c what is happening there if an object is moving in a circle angular velocity they are saying constant and it is 10 radian per second what is the relation between angular velocity and linear velocity suppose particles linear speed is v so it means and its time period is t means in t second it is completing one cycle so in t second it is moving a distance 2 pi r so in one second 2 pi r by t so v should be equal to 2 pi by t into r but in t second it is moving through an angle of 2 pi radian 360 degree 2 pi radian so in one second it will move an angle 2 pi by t so it means 2 pi by t should be angular velocity angular displacement in one second so we can write v is equals to omega into r we can write this v is equals to omega into r so now everything is given we want to calculate linear speed v omega is 10 radian per second si unit r is 20 centimeter r is 20 centimeter means 20 by 100 so what we are getting 2 meter per second so we are going with option d 26th a 500 kg car takes a round turn of radius 50 meter with a velocity of 36 kilometer per hour the centripetal force is everything is given what you need just we discuss centripetal force is given by mv square by r m is 500 kg what is v v first we have to change v remember no need to always go for long calculation conversion factor from kilometer per hour to meter per second is 5 by 18 so easy 18 to za so we are getting 10 meter per second so linear speed is 10 meter per second so a square of 10 is 100 divided by r what is r 50 meter 50 tens a 100 tens a 1000 so what we are getting 1000 newton so we are going with option a 1000 newton next a position dependent force acts on a small body of mass 2 kg and displaces it from x is equals to 0 to x is equals to 5 meter the work done in joule is what they are saying a position dependent force acts on a small body of mass 2 kg and displaces it from x is equals to 0 to x is equals to 5 meter the work done in joule is force is variable 
graph is not given. So, we have to take help of integration. Force is a function of displacement. First, we calculate for the small displacement, so can that we can consider it constant. Then we will integrate within limits. You want to calculate from x is equals to 0 to x is equals to 5 meter. When they are using integration and differentiation, definitely they are giving you very small calculation because you are bio student. So, they are not wasting your time in integration and differentiation. So, only x raised to the power n formula is there. First, we solve integration, then we will go for limit solution. Integration of 7 is 7x, 7 2x, two, 2 was constant, 3 is constant, integration of x square x cube by 3. Now, we will go for solution of limits. Cancel 2 with 2, 3 with 3. So, how to solve? First, put 5 in place of x. So, 7 into 5 minus 5 square 25 plus x cube 5 cube 125. Then put 1 minus sign. Now, lower limit, lower limit is 0. If you put in place of x 0, all terms will become 0. So, what we are getting? 35 minus 25 plus 125. 125 and 10, 135. We are doing in SI units, so we will get in joule unit is given in questions, we are getting A option. So, problem was very simple, only there was a little use of integration.